This is a project that has been eagerly awaited by many in the crypto community, and it's no surprise why. With PulseChain, there is an opportunity for investors to potentially make significant gains. So, the question on everyone's mind is, are you ready to invest? In this video, we'll delve into what a good investment ratio might be, as well as exploring how much you could potentially make with PulseChain. So, whether you're a seasoned crypto investor or a newcomer to the space, this is a video you won't want to miss. By the way, if you're interested in learning about DeFi and discovering innovative projects, you may want to check out our Master in DeFi course. It's designed to help you understand DeFi in a fun and easy way, with lessons that you can access immediately. Right now, we're offering a special launch discount of 90% off. This course will also give you the skills you need to make the most of Pulse Chain when it's released. If you'd like to learn more, just click on the link in the description and become a true cryptopreneur. Now, let's get started. One question that's been on everyone's mind is, what's a good ratio for buying PLS and PLSX? Many individuals are keen on investing in these tokens, especially after missing out on the sacrifice round. Even those who participated in the sacrifice are now eyeing PHEX or other tokens. However, it's important to note that there isn't much data to rely on in this uncharted territory. It is a system state launch with massive blockchain activity being replicated, so while it's difficult to predict, we can still make informed guesses based on the limited data we have available. To do so, we can look at the hex price and the sacrifice rate for Pulse Chain and Pulse X. By analyzing these factors, we can make educated decisions and determine a good ratio for buying PLS and PLSX. Let's use the information we have and come up with the best possible strategy for investing in these tokens. Let's grab a calculator and do some math. The current price of hex is $0.058. The Pulse and Pulse X sacrifice rate was $0.0001. So, we can calculate the ratio by dividing 0.058 by 0.0001, which equals 580. Therefore, the current ratio based on this data is 580 to 1. However, we also need to factor in the sacrifice rate, which could be 2 to 3 times up to 4 times Let's divide the ratio by 3.5, which is a reasonable US dollar multiplier from the sacrifice. That gives us 165.7. So, if you can get 165.7 Pulse or Pulse X for your P hex or E hex copy, that would be a good ratio to consider. But the big question is how much should you take? Should you go all in at launch, or should you dollar cost average and trade your hex for Pulse or Pulse X in increments? This decision ultimately depends on the ratio. In this case, we think that a ratio of 165.7 to 1 is a solid one. Therefore, if you can get 165.7 Pulse or Pulse X for your P-Hex copy or E-Hex copy, it might be worth considering. Remember, it doesn't have to be all or nothing, so take the time to make a well-informed decision. Let's discuss the pre-bridge ratios and how we can approach them. We need to have a strategy in place for deciding how much of our allocation we should invest in Pulse and Pulse X based on the current ratio. If the ratio is good, we can go heavier at launch, maybe up to 50% of our allocation. We can trade that for PLS or PLSX, depending on what we want and what we're longer on. Now, the question is, how much of our allocation should we take and how should we approach it? If the ratio is good, we can consider going heavier at launch. For instance, if we could get 200 to 1, we could go 60%. But if the ratio is worse, we want to be more conservative. Let's say we're getting 100 PLS for our P-Hex or E-Hex bridged in, then maybe we want to go 15% or 20%. But what if the ratio is not favorable? In that case, we need to be more conservative and consider investing only 15 to 20% of our allocation. However, we should never completely abstain from investing because the ratio could always get worse. And we should never invest all of our allocation either because it could always get better. So, our approach should be to base our investment decisions on the current ratio. The better the ratio, the heavier we should go in. And the worse the ratio, the lighter we should go in. However, it's important to note that every individual person is different and they may have their own preferences for the ratio they're comfortable with if you were one of the people who got in on the Pulse and Pulse X sacrifice, you might want to consider going the other way around. 
For example, if the ratio is 80 PLS for one hex, you may want to trade your PLS or PLSX for hex at that point. It's important to remember that there is no one-size-fits-all approach to the pre-bridge ratios, and everyone's strategy will differ. Now let's talk about the potential gains you can make with Pulse Chain. When it comes to the Pulse Chain sacrifice, $670 million was sacrificed outside of the origin address. Comparing this number with other blockchains, we can see that Pulse Chain's starting market cap of $670 million is extremely low for a project with as much potential as Pulse Chain has. Ethereum which will probably be the biggest competitor, has a market cap of $233 billion, and BNB has a market cap of $50 billion. So, Pulse Chain has a huge gap to get to $50 billion from where we are now. Cardano's market cap is $14 billion, but it doesn't have a huge ecosystem building around it. It will take us about a 20x to reach where Cardano is. The market cap for Hex is about $11 billion, and we believe that Pulse Chain will be larger than Hex, this is because Pulse Chain has already surpassed the number of users that Hex has in a short amount of time. If Hex is sitting at $11 billion, Pulse Chain will have to flip this. This means we're talking about massive gains for Pulse Chain, which would give us a market cap that is almost half of the market cap for Hex. This is definitely achievable, especially with the excitement around Pulse Chain and the many projects being built on it. There will be many more projects to come. As a layer one blockchain, Pulse Chain is easy for anyone to understand and we can benefit from each and every narrative that comes out. So, let's get ready for some massive gains with Pulse Chain. Currently, there is a resurgence in the popularity of meme coins, with paper meme coins making incredible gains in a short period of time. Although it is a risky venture, this and the gaming ecosystem are some of the factors that are attracting people to Pulse Chain. Unlike Hex, which attracted people mainly because of its trustless interest, yield, censorship resistance, and other good features. Pulse Chain can attract a more diverse audience. The success of Hex has proven that it is possible to unbank oneself, which was previously thought of as a mere marketing gimmick. The fact that over 120,000 state customers are holding their own keys and had to interact with the smart contract themselves is a testament to this. The excitement generated by this achievement is expected to attract more people to the Pulse Chain ecosystem. With the launch of the Pulse Chain mainnet looming, there is a lot of excitement around it, making it an opportune time to get involved in the crypto world. Therefore, it is an excellent time to be a part of the crypto ecosystem and join the Pulse Chain community. Let's take advantage of this opportunity and make some great things happen. We hope we were able to provide some value and helped you to move a step ahead in your crypto journey. Be sure to check out our crypto brand called Cryptopreneur. Get yourself the highest quality crypto merch available right now on the market and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our content. Till next time, goodbye.